Now on four, something to test the little grey cells. Fifteen to one. Gavin Curry from Belfast. John Leach from Ashley Makerfield in Lancashire. Paul Kennerman from Hyde in Cheshire. Norman Yates from Southport on Merseyside. Cherry Williams from Bath. Michael Melia from Forest Hill in London. David Loft from Leighton in London. Dinah Pierce from Maidenhead in Berkshire. Beryl Buckley from Wallington in Surrey. Steve Burford from Malvern Link in Worcestershire. Peter Moss from Halesworth in Suffolk. Nigel Tate from North Berwick in East Lothian. Laura Rigdon from Whitstable in Kent. Jeff Thomas from Roundhams in Hampshire. And Kevin McNamara from Liverpool are all here to play 15 to 1. Introduced by William G. Stewart. Thank you. Hello. Our previous winner is Norman Yates from Southport in Merseyside. Welcome back, Norman. There's the finals board. Three times in the past, winning scores above 170 have been necessary for a place in the grand final. So, theoretically, seven of those names could disappear. The first to go, of course, will be our friend Jim Lyons. But when? Let's make a start. Two questions each in the first round. One correct answer from you to survive. And we'll start with Gavin Curry from Belfast. Gavin, what name is given to doctors who specialise in diseases of the skin? Dermatologists. John, please. The media. She writes a regular column for the Times newspaper and presents midweek on Radio 4. Her name, please. I'm Robinson. Libby Purvis. Paul, sport, boxing. Britain now has one boxer who holds a version of the world heavyweight title. What's his name? Uh, Herbie Hyde. It is the WBO. Norman. Which legendary Swiss hero inspired a poetic play by Schiller and an opera by Rossini? William Tell. Cherry. Sport. The Diamond Challenge Skulls and the Grand Challenge Cup are held annually at which event? Henley Regatta. Yes, the Royal Regatta. Michael, what is the highest value of postal order that can be purchased? £25. 20 David, of which European country is Mr Vim Koch, the Prime Minister? Norway. The Netherlands. Dinah, much ordered by British tourists, what is the Spanish version of a fruit cup usually based on red wine with added fruit and mineral water? What's it called? I forget. Sangria. Beryl. Football. Which former captain of England announced in September that he was about to retire after a career in which he played in England, Spain and Japan? Uh, Gary Lineker. Still Gary Lineker, Steve. The title, please, of the West End play, later a television programme written by Arthur Smith, of which Gary Lineker was the subject and named in the title. An evening with Gary Lineker. Peter, the name, please, of the actress who has starred in the Alien series of films. Sigourney Weaver. Nigel, of which party is the Northern Ireland politician and Member of Parliament, John Hume, a member? SDLP. Laura, please. Newspapers, The Independent, Spurious, Portia and Mass. What do they contribute to the paper? They write crosswords for the paper. Jeff, in England and Wales, the Bishop's Conference is the governing body of which church? The Methodist Church. The Roman Catholic Church. Kevin, the Cabinet. Who is this? 1990 to 92, Secretary of State for Health. 1992 to 94, Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster. He is presently Minister of Agriculture. William Walgrave. Yes, William Walgrave. Gavin, your second question. Which German scientist unveiled his quantum theory in 1900? Max Planck. John, please. In which English county are the towns of Chesterfield, Orfreton and Swaddlingcote? Derbyshire. Paul, Hartlepool, Middlesbrough and Redcar. Which county are they in? Yorkshire. Cleveland. Norman, Spencer Gore of Great Britain was in 1877 the first winner of which annual major sporting event? The Derby. Wimbledon, men's singles. Cherry, the Bible, Matthew chapter 27, lines spoken by Jesus on the cross. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? In which book of the Old Testament do those same words also appear? Solomon. The book of Psalms. Michael, musicals. Which Rodgers and Hammerstein musical opens in a New England amusement park in the 1870s? Carousel. 
David, please. The writers, Antonia Fraser, Rachel Billington, and Thomas Pakenham. Who is their father? Sorry, I can't remember. Lord Longford. Diner, books. Wild Horses is the latest novel by which sportsman turned thriller writer? Dick Francis. Beryl, please. Music. In Prokofiev's Peter and the Wolf, which instrument represents the duck? Um, the, um... The oboe. <laughs> Sounded a bit like that, actually. <laughs> Steve, this is television sport. With which sport are the commentators Bruce Critchley, Alex Hay and Peter Allis associated? Horse racing. Golf. Peter, this is medicine. What name is given to the burning of tissue by the application of a branding iron or other heated instrument? Singeing. Cauterization. Nigel, please, this is classical music. Mendelssohn's The Wedding March comes from the incidental music to which work? I don't know. A Midsummer Night's Dream. Laura, to scientists, it is polyvinyl chloride. How is it more commonly known? PVC. Jeff, please. What name is given to the bang or noise originating from the backward projected shock waves set up by aircraft travelling faster than the speed of sound? Breaking the sound barrier. That's Sonic what it, boom. That's it. That's the second bit I wanted. And, Kevin, which saint was the first martyr of the Christian church? Saint Alban. He was in England. This is Saint Stephen. <laughs> One down. Fourteen to go. Laura? And our one casualty is David Loft. And of the remaining 14 contestants, only one still has his three lives intact. Gavin, this question for you, a correct answer, we can start nominating. Which town in Mid Glamorgan became the home of the Royal Mint in 1968? <laughs> Plantricent. John, please. Herbert Park, St Stephen's Green and Phoenix Park are open spaces in which city? Dublin. A number, please, John. A uh, number 10, please. Steve, under a 1937 bylaw, which London Transport has asked the Department of Transport to repeal, what is the fine for jumping the queue at a bus stop? Imprisonment. Well, it's not as bad as that. <laughs> it's just two pounds. <laughs> John? A uh, number... 14, please. Jeff, what is the name of the small town in Egypt that was the scene of two battles in 1942 between British and German forces? El Alamein. A number, please. Um, number four. Norman, please. Who was chosen to replace Judas Iscariot among the apostles and was later made a saint? I don't know. Saint Matthias. Again, please, Jeff. Number eight. Cricket, Dinah. Who is the present captain of Australia? Chapel. Mark Taylor. Again, please, Jeff. Um, number 15. Pop music, Kevin. The name, please, of the two Americans are shot to fame with hits such as The Sound of Silence and Bridge Over Troubled Water. Simon and Garfunkel. A number, please. Um, number nine, please. Chemistry, Beryl. N. H3 is the formula for which pungent gas? Hydrogen. Ammonia. Again, please, Kevin. Uh, number six. Please. Mythology, Michael. In Egyptian mythology, the goddess Bast is represented with the head of which creature? An eagle. Cat. Again, please, Kevin. Uh, number five. Cherry, what is the cost of a provisional driving licence for a motor car driver? Twenty-one pounds. Are you a provisional driver? No. Oh, well, your daughter is. <laughs> a number, please? Uh, Eleven. And, Peter, on the same subject, if you lose your driving licence, mislay it, that is, what is the cost of replacing it? Ten pounds. Six pounds. Cherry, please? Fourteen. And, Jeff, please, European literature. Andremarque, Berenice and Phaedra are works by which French playwright? No idea. Jean Racine. Again, please, Cherry. Two. The USA, John. Which of the 50 states in the United States lies on the Beaufort Sea? Um, the um, Arizona. Um, no, Alaska. Catch your breath and give me a number. Uh, six. 
Michael, television. Who is the presenter of the children's animal program Growing Up Wild? Michael Strachan. Terry Nutkins. Again, John, please. Um, number nine, please. Aviation Beryl. What do the initials IATA, IATA, I -A -T -A stand for? International Transportation. No, Aviation transport. <laughs> it sounds like it, but it's actually International Air Transport Association. Again, please. Number one, please. Maiden Castle, a prehistoric hill fort. Portland Bill and Clouds Hill, T.E. Lawrence's cottage near Bovington Camp. Which county are they in? Dorset. A number, please, Gavin. Number 12. Nigel. Wagner wrote The Ring Cycle. Jane Austen wrote Emma. And Edward Munch painted The Scream. In which century? 19th. A number, please. Um, number four. What is the capital city of Peru? Uh, Lima. Lima. Again, please, Nigel. Uh, number 15. Kevin, which British city holds an annual festival called the Mayfest? Canterbury. Uh, Glasgow. Again, please. Uh, number one. Gavin, in which field are Ken Loach, Tony Garnett and Kenneth Trodd famous names? Uh, filmmaking. Yes, they're producers and directors in television and films. Number three. Paul, popular music, True Blue, Like a Prayer and the Immaculate Collection. Hit albums for which artist? Uh, Madonna. A number, please. Uh, number 11. Peter, after whom is the international airport at Genoa in Italy named? Genoa being his birthplace. Marco Polo. That's Venice. This is Christopher Columbus. Again, please. And number 13. Laura, in 1911, the salary was £400. By 1946, it was £1,000. It is now £31,687. Who gets that salary? Home Secretary. All members of Parliament, the Home Secretary gets even more. Again, please. Number five. Astronomy. Which constellation represents a mythological princess rescued by Perseus from a sea monster? Andromeda. Again, Paul. Number 12. Nigel, Somerset Island, Devon Island, Cornwall Island. They belong to and are all off the mainland of which Commonwealth country? Australia. Canada. Again, please, Paul. Number one. Hobbies and pastimes, Gavin. If you went out with some gentles, a jig, a gag and a coop, what would you be going to do? Morris dancing. <laughs> Sounds a bit like it. It's actually fishing. <laughs> Again, please, Paul. Number eight. Dinah, for what sort of team performance were Frank and Peggy Spencer famous from the late 1930s onwards? Exhibition dancing. Yes, ballroom dancing, formation teams and things like that. A number, Dinah. Two, please. The Bible, John. After the disappearance of Joseph, which of Jacob's 12 sons became his father's favourite? Simeon. Benjamin. Dinah, please. Three. Games, Paul. From the Latin for I play. What is the name of the simple board game in which counters are moved on a board by throwing dice? Ludo. A number, please. Number 10. Steve, from the early 1820s until 1972, they were known as the Trucial States. What name was taken when this group of states united? Sorry. The United Arab Emirates. Again, please. Number 14. Norman Kings, Jeff. What relation was William II to Henry I who succeeded him? He was the grandson. They were brothers. They were both sons of William the Conqueror. Again, please. Number eight. Dinah. Trades unions. The AWU, the Amalgamated Engineering and Electrical Union. What's the name of the general secretary? Gavin Laird. A number, please. One, please. Gavin, who presents the Radio 4 programme Word of Mouth? Barry Twick. Frank Delaney. Again, please, Dinah. Three, please. Chemistry, Paul. Which chemical element has the symbol PD? Palladium. 
Again, please, Diana. 15, please. Kevin, the science of hydrology is concerned with the occurrence and distribution of what on the surface of the Earth? Water. A number, please. Uh, number five, please. Cherry, what is the nickname, or what was the nickname, of the jazz trumpeter and composer whose real name was John Burks Gillespie? Count Basie. Dizzy Gillespie. Again, please. Number 12, please. Nigel, which BBC motoring series began on Radio 5 in September, presented by Steve Berry? It's called Top Gear. Again, Kevin. Number two, please. Awards and decorations, John. Which British military medal has the abbreviation DCM? Distinguished Conduct Medal. And number, please. Number 15, please. This is television, Kevin. Which sport is the subject of Channel 4's Saturday morning show called The Morning Line? Horse racing. And number, please. Um, number 13, please. Laura. Which statue by Sir George Frampton was erected unofficially overnight in London in 1912 as a magical surprise for children? Um, Eros. Peter Pan in Kensington Gardens. Kevin? Number eight, please. The United States. Who was the state of Virginia named after? Queen Elizabeth. The first. Yes, I was about to ask you which one, Diana. <laughs> I'm sure you knew, but I had to be certain. A number, please? Uh, three, please. Paul, which major company was founded by the man who later became the first Baron Trent of Nottingham? I see, I. In the right track, Boots the Chemist. <laughs> There you are, as we have to get to, 12 down, 3 to go, and after the break, John Leach from Ashton in Makerfield in Lancashire, Diana Pearce from Maidenhead in Berkshire, and Kevin McNamara from Liverpool will be here for the final. They would very much like you, 4 million people out there, cheering them on. Five contestants in today's 15 to 1 final are John Leach, a retired primary school teacher from Ashton and Makerfield in Lancashire. He is a member of Wigan Advanced Motorists, and at this moment he is raising money for hospices in Wigan and St Helens as he has been sponsored to appear on 15 to 1. Dinah Pierce, a housewife from Maidenhead in Berkshire. She likes reading, crosswords, and travel, and having recently given up golf, she's about to take up bowls. And Kevin McNamara, a taxi driver from Liverpool. He enjoys snooker, travel and swimming, and in fact used to be a swimming teacher and lifeguard. Thank you. Welcome back. John, Diana, Kevin, fingers on the buzzers. If you're happy with the rules, let's get on with it. Here we go. In which branch of the legal profession is the cab rank rule the duty to act for any client an important concept? Kevin? Legal aid. The bar. Barristers have to take the first client that comes along. The wedding of the year. Whose engagement was announced on the 10th of July 1947, the wedding taking place on November 20th of that year? John? I don't know. Princess Elizabeth, as she was then. Yes, Another queen. and Prince Philip. Which medical term means a lack of haemoglobin in the blood? John? Um, no, it's gone. No. Anemia. Anemia. Think it back on the buzzers, please. The world's largest operator of mines is known by the initials RTZ. What do those initials stand for, Dinah? Rio Tinto Zinc. They do. Inventions. The name, please, of the English mathematician and inventor who in the 19th century invented a calculating machine that anticipated the modern electronic computer. John? Babbage. Charles Babbage. What name is given to the condition of being unable to sleep naturally? Kevin? Insomnia. It is. On we go. What is the pool of aircraft for the use of the Queen and certain other members of the royal family? No. Kevin? Queen's flight. Films. Oscars. Of which film which won an Oscar for best makeup in 1968 did Stanley Kubrick say, God damn it, did they think we used real apes? Kevin? Planet of the Apes. Yes, Planet of the Apes. 
Three correct answers. The choice is yours. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate Dinah. Dinah, this is sport. The youngest was Thomas Gregory, who was 11 years and 333 days. And that was in 1988. The oldest person was Bertram Clifford Batt, who was 67 years and 241 days. That was in 1987. For which sporting achievement or marathon are those the age records? Swimming the channel. Yes. Question or nominate? Nominate Kevin. In which English county are the towns of Alton, Eastleigh and Fareham? Hampshire. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate John. John, which French novelist had a lifelong association with the philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre, whom she first met at the Sorbonne, where she was a professor? Colette. Simone de Beauvoir. Again, please. Uh, nominate Dinah. Dinah, what common name is given to bursitis, or inflammation of the bursa, when it occurs at the elbow? Tennis elbow. Question or nominate? Nominate John. United States and decorations. It was first introduced in 1782. It lapsed and was reintroduced in the 1930s. It was originally called the Badge of Military Merit. What was? Purple Hearts. Question or nominate? Uh, Kevin, please. The funnel web is what sort of creature? A spider. Very poisonous indeed. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate John. John, by what title is Alexandra Dumas' creation Edmund Dantes better known? The Man in the Iron Mask. The Man in the Iron Mask was a creation of Dumas, but this is the Count of Monte Cristo. <laughs> Kevin, please. Uh, nominate Dinah. Dinah, this is television. Fat Man in France. The name, please, of the fat man who travels around on his bicycle. Tom Vernon. Again, please. Nominate. This, Dinah, is the phonetic spelling for which letter of the alphabet? W. Again, please. Uh, nominate. Dinah. Edgar, from 1097 to 1107. Margaret, the maid of Norway, from 1286 to 1290. And John Balliol, from 1292 to 1296. Monarchs of which country? Britain. Scotland. Well, now, young Kevin from Liverpool, 51 points you have. There's plenty of time, 22 questions left and two lives left. I mean, what, 220, 271? 291 points there somewhere. What was described by Samuel Johnson in his 18th century dictionary as any crust with something in it? A sandwich. A pie. Abbreviation, the RCVS is the Royal College of what? Veterinary surgeons. Proverbs. Actions speak what? Loud and words. Which motor car manufacturer makes the Laguna, Savannah and Safran models? Renault. The town of Loughborough, the motor racing circuit at Donington Park near Castle Donington and Charnwood Forest. Which county are they all in? Leicestershire. Look at this carefully. This is the official insignia for the Queen's Award for what? Trade industry. Technological achievement. Well, there you are, Kevin, a winning score of 91, worth coming from Liverpool for, I hope. No place on the finals board, but come again down south sometime in the spring. We'd like to have you with us. Thanks. Thank you. There you are, that's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place, 4.30 on Channel 4. Do please try and join us. Music, magic and chat next on 4 as Gay Byrne presents another Late Late Show.